Maybe going home can wait. Got an emergency. Drop my beer. You see him coming up. Oh, he's a good size. I love King George White fishing. He's hungry. Oh, there's plenty of moose. Oh, what a day. It's classy. I'm kicking myself on ego, sure, but it's not going to last. So it doesn't matter. I'm here in close. Go for my favourite species, the fine specimen King George Whiting, and a bit of squid. Let's bloody get into it. This is a brand new spot. It's virgin territory for me. Let's drop down a couple of baits and see if we can get a few fine specimens. And I get a lot of people saying, oh mate, how do you how do you work out to find the ground? Well, on my sound, I don't know if you can see it. Um, see that red bit? That's sort of like weedy, roughly bit. When it's a straight yellow bar, that's usually a bit of sand. So there might be a sand patch there, but it's roughly all weedy. Now, the reason I use the sound is because now that the sun's coming up, I just can't see through the water. Um, you really need to look hard because there's a lot, it's quite glassy. So that's what I'll do for. We'll go for King George the squid, look for that weedy bit, patchy area. Sand whiting, the same thing, but just go for that nice straight line of sand. All right, that's enough educational purposes. <laughs> Let's get, get some fish. So today I'm actually going to be using the, these soft plastics, artificial bloodworms, and they're already been pre-cut by gulp. What is scented? Will they stink? Pot luck, I don't know the area here. I don't know if it's really weedy. You want? patchy area it just seems to be too weedy it's gonna wait look at the squid you go aboard too it's always an opportunity to get a, a calamari Greece is pretty good to south easterly I don't mind that at all favorite King George Whiting rig Paternoster on the bottom you got a nice long leader there size two hooks size fours presentation so that's perfect you can put a bit of squid on that, but that there just looks too good. Making them an offer they can't refuse. So I'm going to drop this boat here. Bit of squid tentacle here. Got the uh, plastic bud worm right there. And just this pocket down. I was getting a couple of taps. Let's quickly check the bait. Yeah, so the bottom rig. Actually got attacked and that plastic came off. That's a shame because I didn't think these were meant to come off. <laughs> Don't know if there's a fish on. Nothing worth bragging about if I can't even feel it. I mean, it's simply a fish, what have we got? Yeah, okay. Got a snap up. <laughs> it tells me we're in a bit of a sandy area. Alright, so they chomped up that worm soft plastic. I should put a bit of bait there too. I can see for the water. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful fish. Snapper. Well, that's no good. <laughs> if it was about 10 times bigger, I'd be pretty happy. All he's doing is just chewing up all my bait. It feels alright. Nothing around you, but still, let's see uh, if we're going to get the target species. It was a bit long, well engraved. Yes. Okay, come on, on the boat. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, I love it. I love King George Whiting fishing. Yeah. And he went for the. um. The very last hook, the bottom hook, he swallowed it. And I've said that before, the fish swallows your hook. You're not a very good fisherman because <laughs> you meant to feel the bite. So I'll get this guy sorted. Gonna watch out for the other rig, see if that's gonna go. And he went for the blood worm plastic. Come on. 
bad thing about these things here, you're drifting over the ground. Which is, there you go. So there you go. First fish of the day. It's probably about 40 centimetres. Yeah, so it's 41. That's a fine specimen. So, you beauty. You beauty. Put them in the bucket straight away. Sea anchor out, which I don't need. I've already got some ice there. It's already been dispatched. I kept it nice and fresh. So he didn't go for the bait. Well, there was a little bit of bait on this bottom hook. There's a little bit of bait left here. Again, using these soft plastics. Whoop. There you go. Nice and, nice and curly. Well, this one here, I didn't close the bail arm. Now that was a good bite, that one. Let's get this other rod ready. Because if there's any... Oh, that's... 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 That's KG. Oh, that's KG. So... It's gonna mark it. Woo! <laughs> this one's a bit more lighter outfit. Can see him coming up. Oh, he's a good size. The neck just in case. Give me curry. Yeah, it's good size. KG. Woo! That's what we're on about. I think the other one's taken off too. Yeah, and I just marked that spot while I was at it. This is not a KG. It could be a small one. Butterfish. Righto. Now let's see this fine specimen. They're still going alright. In the landing net. Bad thing about these landing nets. Oi, it's alright. Nothing too tangled about it. Just gotta watch out for my rod tips. I'm a pretty bad person. Oh, it's a good fish. Another good fish. So, I'll keep them very close to me because if I show you guys on the camera, these buggers, he will um, try everything to get it back into the water. But there you go right there. He's over 40. It's got to be over 40. Yeah, so it's a good, good 43 centimetre. Beautiful, juicy, juicy King George Whiting. Is she going to bleed it? I don't usually bleed it. I think it's preserves the quality a lot better that's just terrific all right so another bite here oh hang on it's starting to fight now it's starting to fight it's a kg or butterfish it's another beautiful fine specimen Woohoo! oh my god so in love with these fish oh and he's going for this um for his rigs, the same rig as the other one, but it's the lighter sinker. So I'm actually thinking maybe the lighter sinker gives it more, I don't know, more opportunity for the fish to actually grab the bait. Less resistance. There's another 40 centimetre one. So slowly, slowly, getting a good feed. Really good feed. More line out because as you're drifting, you want those baits to get as close to the bottom because they are bottom dwellers, King George. They fossick around the weed and the sand. So while I'm waiting here, I'll just get some of the bait ready. Pre cut your bait to the sizes, it saves a lot of time, especially if it's a hot bite. What time is it? 7 30 beer. <laughs> Summertime fishing down under, you gotta do it. Yeah, big fat puffer fish. 
Alrighty, so I'm gonna move off further offshore, try and see if I can find some different ground. It's not happening here, but of course I've got an opportunity to move around. Get a couple more fish, see what's out there. Why not? I'm not just staying in the one spot, not many bites. Been really quiet. Really quiet. Okay. Thought it wasn't a very big bite. Still, target species. Definitely need to measure this guy up. I usually don't like taking these kind of fish. I prefer the bigger ones. Yeah, so he's gone 31. We'll take that one. 28 is the size limit. But uh, yeah, long time between drinks. Good sign that there's one out here because uh, they're moving around all over the place. Telltale sign when you hear that shaking on the rod holder. Again, it's not a massive one. Could be a butterfish, this one. I oh, know it's a good sized sand whiting. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. So it looks like we've drifted into a sandy patch. Which is good, hopefully there's a bit of weed around here and get a few more fish. Right, so my last ditch attempt, see if I can get another fish. Probably going for some whiting. I'm in about 18 metres of water. Whoop. It's gauge roads, I think it is. There's a lot of traffic. A bit bouncy. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, target species. Oh my god, that's a dinosaur of a whiting. Caviar of the ocean size. That is a perler. You beauty. Well, let's, let's try and capitalise on this spot before the wind turns it to shit. That's almost a guaranteed out here. Oh my god. I'm a bit worried my hooks are a bit too big. But no, all pretty good. Probably need a bigger sink as soon as this wind starts to come. As you can see, that it's starting to bristle up. It's not going to be that. Oh no, oh no. Line failure. Oh my god. Just when the fishing was getting good. Now release it. Should I just get my other rod? I think I'll just get my other rod. Damn. Oh. And the whiting, you haven't got a chance to put your rod in the rod holder. Because you need a oh yeah. That that bit that's I don't think that's the sand whiting. It's just too much of a curry. Let's have a look. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it wasn't a whiting. These baits are probably too big for the whiting. Straight away. Straight away. Come on. Oh, this is, again, it's not a whiting. It's definitely a baby snapper. Yeah. As I said, just no time. Well, this is. Could not be those pinkies. Could be a bit of curry. Well, the pinkies are getting bigger. Pinky and a and a butterfish. Just about to pack up. Got a bite. Feels like a whiting. Oh, you beauty. Oh, fat boy. I'm just sort of signing up, but that there is a beauty. Thank God. Oh, well, yeah, there's bites here. Maybe, maybe going home can wait. Come on, this has got to be a. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a whiting. 
Come on, come on. Come on. He's a butterfish. Alrighty guys, let's brag. About the catch. I fought, caught four kgs and for me. Oh no, three. No, four. There's a small one there as well. No, I really can't complain. I mean, that's a chunky fish and I just love targeting this fish. And I'm even happy just for the one. But got a four and that's a stonk of a sand whiting. I mean, if I got a dozen of these, I would have been a happy ass, but I'm still happy. See you home for the cook up before the southwest really starts to pick up. It's got an emergency. Drop my beer. No way. Where is it? Come back here. Oh, you beauty. You beauty. What a great catch. Woo. Ha. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm glad they made these float floatables. Ah, full of froth. Frothing. See you home for the cooker. Woo. I only caught a couple, it makes it feel better, but I'll give you a fish fucking cat. So nice. Alright, thanks for subscribing mate. So yeah, easy. Right. It's a bit dirty, so let's give it a wash and unless we'll give you a good luck, I don't know. Yeah, no, <laughs> Cheers. Thanks again. Thanks mate. Right, let's start cooking. Good old plain flour. Salt for is probably better. Bit of salt. Bit of oregano. And a bit of sparkle. Australia's uh, sparkly drop there. Usually a bit of beer will be fine, but trying off the sparkly. Got some family from Melbourne over. I'll make it a bit fancy for them. Right, so this is pretty light tempura batter with the spumante. Let's talk to everybody on YouTube. How, how you are you, did you just drive from Hi. Melbourne? Number Hi. one fan. Yeah, Andrew, number one so fan and um, number one fan of Perth. More Melburnians need to come across from the east coast to the uh, west coast. So I just salt in the fillets as per usual. Yeah. And I love me. So that's oregano. Called, um, that's called King seasoning. George seasoning. Yes, <laughs> salt in the fish. <laughs> so. Seasoning the fish. <laughs> Terrific. And that there. Now what now, we're what going are you to doing? do? What's this thing here? It's a it's a video in here. Why are you going? Yeah, it's a GoPro. Yeah. Hang on, did you, I'm actually recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we put the flour in here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, right. there we go. I think that should be enough. Yeah. How many's coming over again? We've got the kids and... Yeah, we've got a, quite a few of them. So many are coming tonight, actually. It's yeah, really we're get, getting chips from the shop because I haven't got time to cook You're the shit. getting ship. a bit stressed, but that's fine. No, no, it's all right. Just got to get that done. And there we go. We right. get trapped to the oil. I don't know if we should start cooking yet. But yeah, no, start cooking. I'll be home soon. So let's get stuck into it. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's really nice and warm. Putting the thick pieces in first. And we, uh, when you put it in, you just turn it the other way around so it won't stick to the bottom. That's a lot of tempura sort of mix. There we go. Doesn't look very appetizing, but when it's done, it'll be fantastic. Probably need to turn it down because I'll, I'll get too brown. And the fish will be still a bit, a bit cooked, so I'll turn this down. Progress, it's going really slow because it's windy. A couple of fillets out here. It's not coming out as good as I'd like to, but it'll do. There we go. Look at that. Get right over here. Yummo. Righto. 
some more coming up here. Oh, it's nice and hot now. For the flat ad whiting. Who's hungry? Me! Oh, there's plenty of me's. <laughs> So it's rustic. Huh? Right, oh, who wants some beautiful fish tucker? Oh, thank you so much. It's nice and hot, yeah, that one. <laughs> Thanks beautiful. very much, Deidre. Mum, you, you got your tucker? Bridget, you got your tucker? Right. Oh, yeah. Really? Good for vampires? <laughs> I'll see you next time. Yummo. Alright, <laughs> what do we say? Dom, Dom a petite, petite and please. subscribe. We'll do that. Dom a petite and subscribe. Yeah. Mom, what's the accent? <laughs> Dom a petite and please like oh, and subscribe. Oh, I get it. Dom a petite. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, the fish, tucker, man.